Hey guys, Kia from Kegland, and today we're talking about our all new refractometer. This new refractometer has a number of cool new features in here which I'm gonna show you, and it's also a fantastic tool for anybody who's all grain brewing. If you're all grain brewing, you really wanna take that, uh, that gravity reading instantly, and a refractometer really allows you to do that. A lot of you guys who are new to home brewing probably would use something like this, which is basically a hydrometer, which you basically fill the measuring uh, cylinder up with some type of wort or sugar, sugar mixture. You drop this in, give it a spin, and because the actual hydrometer is floating in the liquid you're really measuring you know that that, that gravity directly because you're essentially using gravity to to come up with that reading these are fantastic most of the time even when there's alcohol present they continue to give you good readings but when you've got hot liquid especially on a brew day where you're uh, halfway through you'd hardly want to be cooling that sample down to 20 degrees and also it's a bit of a frustration sometimes you're measuring that liquid and then using some type of conversion table to get that temperature right so look if you're an all grain brewer on the brew day it's hard to beat an actual refractometer but let me show you some of the cool new features on the Sabre refractometer so unlike a standard hydrometer which measures gravity directly a refractometer on the other hand it really needs to approximate that uh, that measurement by using the refractance of light so of course inside the box when you buy the Sabre refractometer you basically take a tiny little sample like this with this pipette you drip it on the little display here or the lens you drop that in and basically the more heavy that is or the more dense that uh, that, that sample is the more it's going to refract that light and bend the light and that amount that it's bending essentially is going to be turned into a reading on the scale of the refractometer. So as you can see on the scale of our particular refractometer, we've got three scales here. So we've got bricks in the middle, which pretty much all refractometers have bricks because that's basically the refractance of light right there. But then we've also got sugar and wort. Now I will have to tell you when it comes to um, these types of uh, refractometers, depending on the manufacturer, some of them can be wildly out, which is why we've got two scales here, sugar and wort. So if you watch a video from Brian, he's got a channel called Short Circuit Brewers, a fantastic YouTube channel. Highly recommend you go and uh, subscribe to his channel as well, because he covers a lot of really cool gear too. But one of the particular episodes that he's got is showing you that his refractometer that he got is wildly out. It's out by like uh, almost 10 points. So it's quite a bit out. It's gonna put all those calculations you've got out if you've got one. And some of the manufacturers, you know, they, they basically say SG on the scale, but that doesn't mean SG word. It might mean SG for sugar or fruit juice or something like that. And it's just being sold as a beer, you know, refractometer. So that can be really confusing for, uh, for newbies who are getting into it. Now, of course you can get the numbers and then pass them through a table. So Brian goes through in his video, if you've got a particularly bad refractometer, which doesn't really have any relevance with word when the readings come out, you can go through that sort of calculation and basically plug that all into an Excel spreadsheet. So on Brian's video, he's got links in on Brewers, links to this Brewers Friend calculator, which you can basically correct it. But essentially what we've done is taken the standard mid-range wort. So the most common uh, run-of-the-mill wort, so for like a pale ale or a lager or something like that, this will be quite accurate straight out of the box. So what we did is we basically got our density meter and we took all these different gravities of worts and a whole lot of different readings, basically lined them up uh, on a graph, uh, you know, basically showing bricks and SG. Now, you could also buy one of these, but that you're gonna be you know, set back a couple of grand if you're gonna buy one of these uh, density meters. So I don't expect most of you guys gonna to wanna to, to fork out that type of cash. But um, what we did was we plotted all of that with the density meter onto a graph and then basically did the most accurate graph we could so we could come up with the triple scale. Now. Our SG wort for most beers will be spot on. If you got a beer which has heaps of something like a um, you know candy sugar or inverted sugars, you're probably going to find the you know there's a little bit of error there to be quite frank. Um, but we also have a scale there for sugar, and that was also important because some people who are brewing still want to use this for sugar as well. Like some guys, if they're in distillation, for instance, and they're mixing sugar with water and stuff like that, they still want to know what that reading is. The other cool thing we did on this one is we put an LED light and you can just turn that on with this switch here. And you'll notice what we've done is really sealed this unit in a lot better. So this is much more waterproof than our previous models. Previously, we had ones with LED lights and if you dunked it in water or splashed too much word on it, you could sort of damage the LED light. 
But this one is basically all sealed in, so that LED light's all waterproof, waterproof so you can dip it into your wort and it's not gonna kill that, uh, that unit. The other thing we did is also switch over to rechargeable batteries. I really hate throwing out batteries and uh, you know I think the world's got enough e-waste and stuff out there, so we made this one rechargeable. It's only slightly more expensive to buy a rechargeable battery, I guess, um, and it, that, for that reason, it also comes with this USB cable. So to charge it up, just plug into a standard USB like that. Um, and then what you can do is use this magnetic end. So basically it just clips on like that and then it charges the device up. So yeah, it also comes a little pipette and a little storage box like this. So look, I think this is a fantastic purchase. If you're all grain brewing, it's absolutely an essential tool for anybody getting into all grain brewing. So then you can take those readings really quickly. Even if you're uh, you know, fly sparging, you know, you can take that reading and you know if you can you know, squeeze a bit more uh, wort out of that grain if you wanted to you know, sparge a bit more water through for instance. Anyway, that's it guys. Hope you enjoy using the new Sabre refractometer. You know, it's on the website now. And uh, if you guys wanna hear about any other cool stuff that we're coming up with, down the bottom right hand corner, hit subscribe now. And that way you'll be, get notified when the new videos come out. Or join our Facebook homebrew community group. Heaps of members now on there. There's literally thousands on there sharing tips and tricks on how to get the most out of our gear. All right, that's it. And see you next time. Bye.